and welcome you back to Boxing Jabs. And tonight, we're going to talk about the postponement of Fury Wilder 3 because of a COVID outbreak in Tyson Fury's camp. And we're going to look at a few tweets down here, one by Dan Raphael regarding Fury Wilder 3 statement from on the status of the fight. We continue to monitor the health and status of Tyson Fury and his team and the status of the event has not changed to date. Here's something by Bob Arum. Last period of the athletic, athletic says he spoke to Bob Arum, who said, as far as I know, Fury does not have it. This does open up the chance that Fury <clears throat> and maybe enough people who don't have it can isolate from any others, but I will see. Yet again, Tyson Fury's next fight will be delayed. My Comperture reports at ESPN that a COVID outbreak in Fury's training camp is likely to postpone the trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder from July to September. I want to say this. I had a feeling that this fight would be postponed for the simple fact I don't think Tyson Fury was prepared for this fight. With a couple of weeks left, Tyson Fury is still above 300 pounds. They had to find a way to give Tyson Fury enough time to get ready for this fight. If you notice in a similar fight, Teofimo Lopez and George Cambosas, they used the virus to cancel their fight back in June for the simple fact that they was not selling enough tickets. They also canceled it in August to move it to September to put it under the Oscar De La Hoya Vito Belfort card. And this is starting to be used for fighters as a get out of jail free card. If Tyson Fury is not infected, you could still have that fight in July 24th. But like I said, John Fury was saying that his son was not prepared. And when John Fury said it, I had a feeling that this would be postponed. This is how Fury works. Plenty of his fights have been postponed when he's not ready to fight or he's not taking the fight seriously. Now he gets an extra two months to prepare, to get his body together, to get his skills ready. And I bet you Sugar Hill said, hey man, we don't have to fight on the 24th. We can use this COVID thing. Everybody will understand that nobody wants the spread of COVID. And that'll give us two months. That'll give us eight more weeks to prepare for Deontay Wilder, who is in tremendous shape right now. So you have to understand that people will use this to their advantage, and Tyson Fury has. Now Deontay Wilder has to set, reset his body all over again. Deontay Wilder, when you box as a fighter, when you wake up every day, you get ready to peak on fight night. Wilder was getting ready to peak on the 24th. His body, his mind, and everything uh, spiritually. But Tyson Fury has taken that away from him. So that means Wilder, who has probably been preparing for the last eight or nine weeks, has to reset his body once again to prepare in eight weeks for this fight. Hopefully he can do it and won't be overtrained. But Tyson Fury, who's not in shape, now gets the chance to peak if the fight is rescheduled in September. This hurts Deontay Wilder, but it helps Tyson Fury. Now, no date has been set because, you know, the NFL starts and we know that in Allegiant Dome, the Raiders play there. But they will find a date for this fight because the money is so big. But this is how the game is played. And Tyson Fury is using this 
for his advantage right now. Everybody was looking forward to this fight in a couple of weeks. Now we have to wait, what is it, 10, 12 more weeks before we can get this fight? Man, this doesn't make any sense right here. All of a sudden, with two weeks left, they have a breakout. Great excuse for a fighter who's not in shape, for a fighter who hasn't prepared correctly for this fight. And this is, I believe, John Fury talking to his son, talking to Sugar Hill in his camp. This kid doesn't look ready to fight. He's been taking a couple of ass whoopings while he has been in training. And his father said, hell no, you're not sending my son out there. And he's not prepared to fight Deontay Wilder. Because Deontay Wilder, if you're not in shape and your mind is not set, he's going, man, he's going to level you. He's going to send you to another nation. He's going to give you that knockout, man. That devastating knockout. So we'll see where this fight goes next. I want to thank you for listening to Boxing Jabs. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.